Morning guys, so first of all I'd like to say a massive thank you to you guys out there because without you things wouldn't improve. So it means a lot to me with all the likes, comments and subscribes that we're getting now. We're over 50 subscriptions, which is massive. I didn't even think it'd get that far, to be fair. It all started because of the interest of people showing through the Kona on the Twitter, which I'll leave along the bottom. So today's test is all about efficiency and how efficient is the Kona at 60 mile an hour. So we've got a full 60 mile an hour stretch to do. Hopefully it should average at 60 mile an hour apart from the traffic, which at nine o'clock in the morning shouldn't be too bad. So this efficiency test is with a slight twist. First of all, we're gonna drive for a full hour, half hour there, half hour back, and that'll give us a base rating. And then we're gonna do the whole test again, but with a roof box on the top. So then we're gonna find out the difference between carrying a roof box and without. So first of all, we'll zero the trips and we'll get off. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. All right, guys, that's about the halfway point. Um, so we've traveled 20.1 miles, averaging 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Right then guys, that's just about where we started. We've managed 40 miles in 52 minutes. So kind of 48, 49 miles per hour average. Although the cruise control was set to 60. On the way back, the uh, there was a little bit of traffic so it didn't allow for it. Um, we've managed to average 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, temperature is still four degrees. We did have the heating on set on fan speed one at 24 degrees and the seats and steering wheel were and so on so then we'll replicate the whole test again this time with the top box on the roof see you in a bit right then guys we're back at the start again with the roof box on so we'll just reset the trip computers one more time average and accumulative info and away we go. So let's see how close to the 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour we can get over the 50-ish mile an hour speed average. I'll set everything to 60 again because I know that we're going to run into traffic again, but at least it will give us some kind of idea of the difference with the roof box on. Right then, let's get going. Right then guys, that's us at the halfway point again, this time with the roof box on. Uh, so far, we've got 
about 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour and that's over 20.4 miles in 27 minutes so now we're on our way back guys we're back at the start again and on the screen now we've got the same 40.3 miles which is good uh, it took 51 minutes this time but we averaged 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour now that's just 0.3 miles per kilowatt hour less than without the top box on the top so by my maths that means roughly around 20 miles we're gonna lose per charge on the Kona by carrying the roof box now we'll find out how much we do lose per full charge because in a couple of weeks time we're going to do the same 450 mile journey we did in Larry the Leaf but in this time it will be in the Kona. Now we're attempting one stop with this. Um, hopefully that should be doable even with the roof box on the top. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and leave comments below as always. I do enjoy reading the comments and it gives me little pointers on what I can do to improve the videos and also make them more enjoyable. Right then guys, see you again soon. Take care.